An 81-year-old South Memphis woman is turning to the county and community for help. The back of her home caved in, and she blames a tree from a lot that was formerly owned by the county. Local 24 News reporter Brittany Moncrease is live at that house tonight. And Brittany, I understand she'd rather not move despite what she's having to deal with. That's right, Richard. 81-year-old Lillian Carr Foster says this home has been in her family since 1958. And the last thing she wants is to have to move. For years, 81-year-old Lillian Carr Foster has been a caregiver for others. Now she is in need of care from the community. If I was still able to work, I'd be working to help my own self. This home is centered to the Foster family. Well, I can bring my grandchildren over to see me. That's why she does not want to move, even though the back of her home looks like this. Councilman-elect J.B. Smalley has been helping Ms. Foster. When I got here, I was uh, kind of, you know, taken back because, you know, we should not be living in homes like this. Ms. Foster had a faulty roof that began to leak in 2013. Branches began to fall. Weakening the roof even more. Then in May, Ms. Foster says a tree from an empty lot next door, which was at the time owned by Shelby County, fell in her backyard. It knocked down a power line that fell on the back roof and brought it down completely. I can't afford it to go nowhere and pay no $500, $600, $700 rent. Her grandson has been making minor repairs. He said Memphis light, gas, and water Water came to disconnect the wire while neighbors broke up the fallen tree, then reconnected it. We need community support. People in our community who um, like to give or would support someone who's in need. And Shelby County no longer owns the property. They sold it last month. Ms. Foster reached out to Habitat for Humanity, but they said that the cost of repairs is not in their budget at this time. Live in South Memphis, Brittany Moncrease, Local 24 News.